got a great freshman class coming in with some great leadership from the sophomores. Uh, last year we didn't have, we had three sophomores, so the leadership probably wasn't there. This year we have six sophomores, which helps us with the leadership, and then we have a bunch of freshmen who are buying into the system right now. And their work ethic is out of this world. I can't describe how good their work ethic is, and if they keep this up, good things will happen to this team. Two of the kids that really would stand out for me has to be Caitlin McVeigh and Lex Lamar. McVeigh has worked really hard in the off season to get herself in probably 100% better shape than she was last year coming in. More focused, definitely has polished some skills. Her attitude as a leader is really good this year. Miss Mar, I can't say enough about. She has the best hands I've seen, has a change from last year, has a lot of confidence, and she can read the court. Two of the freshmen that I'm really excited about, I would have to say, is Rachel Barr and Justin Bodenhammer. Rachel is gonna be an awesome middle for us. So quick, and when I was recruiting her, I didn't realize she was as quick as she is, and that's what's gonna make her so dominant in the middle, is because she's so quick, and I think she will, her approaches will shock the defenders because it's so quick. She'll be up, have the ball down before they know what's going on. Uh, Justin on the other side, you know, she really impressed me. Works hard, does the things she needs to do. Um, and really surprising is you just get that, wow, where did that come from? Feeling every once in a while when she does some stuff. Even though I have five other great freshmen too, there's two that are standing out so far early in practice. I'm excited about this team because there's really good energy. The freshmen have a good outlook. They are ready to go. They're not shy. They come in with a positive outlook every day. And we're already ready to compete. We're ready to go. I learned that the game is a lot faster and you have to be smarter. It's not about the physical caliber. It's about reading the defense and knowing what to do and what not to do. Last season was up and down and I learned that you have to be positive. You have to always Never doubt yourself. You have to look at it as if you can always conquer anything. I decided to get I can't out of my vocabulary and know that I can do anything if I set my mind to it. Alexa is tough. <laughs> She's not going to put up with anything. She knows her game. She knows who to go to. She knows what the defense is going to do before they even do it. And she knows who to go to, who's got the hot hand, who's having an off game before the game even started. One of the new players that's really surprised me is Sam Roth. She came in to open gyms really shy, really quiet, and she didn't really show her full potential. And now that she's comfortable with everybody, she's showing what she can do, and she's gonna be a true asset to this team. I think the most important thing is sophomore leadership. How, how you play determines how the freshmen play, and your energy affects what they do and what you get out of them. So. We're trying to bring a ton of energy so that the freshmen are upbeat and positive and we get the most out of the season. During the off season, I was in the fitness center every day working on uh, leg strength because that's very important as a setter. And then just trying to touch a ball every day. Caitlin and I feed off of each other's energy. Like she puts the ball down and then the first thing she says is great set. So it boosts my confidence and then watching her put the ball down, we just, energy is what connects us the most. Sam can jump so high. We're working on timing, and when she gets her timing down, she's going to be awesome. Um, Rachel is fast and she's loud, so that helps being a middle. you got to be loud to know where the setter is. Outside's Erica has been hitting awesome this summer, so I'm looking forward to seeing her throughout the season. And then our back row players, he recruited three that are just going to be awesome. Because last year was kind of struggle passing-wise, so this year we're going to be pretty good. My goal are to just play every point like it's going to be your last. Because this is my sophomore season, so I'm, I don't know if I'm going to play after or not. So just live in the moment and make sure to play every point. But as a team, I'm looking forward to trying to make it to a national tournament. I think we have so much potential that we can just blow everybody out of the water. And I think we're going to surprise people. This will be a successful season if we have no injuries. <laughs> we have to keep everybody healthy because we do need everyone. There's 13 of us and we are going to have to use everybody at some point in time. And it might just be for a couple points, but that makes a big difference in a game when you have to play five sets. If we 
come to practice every day and looking to take a step forward if we stay positive and if we work together. We played our potential. My expectations for this team are to give me hustle every night and see how far we can ride this out. And if we give hustle every night, I think the sky is the limit. Carl on three, one, two, three, Carl! Carl.